Gingiva is another name for gums. Attached or sometimes called marginal gingiva needs to be recorded. The amount of actual attached gingiva is the visible gum tissue minus the pocket depth as indicated by the white arrow. Attached gingival tissues may appear to be adequate under visual examination, but can be diagnosed inadequate with a thorough periodontal examination. In this case, there is no attached gingiva associated with this lower anterior tooth. The reason it is important to identify these areas is to prevent localized gum and bone recession. There are various periodontal procedures to increase attached gingival tissues and prevent this from happening. If left untreated, this recession and bone loss can progress to such severe levels that a tooth may actually fall out on its own. This movie shows how we can perform root coverage and treat recession with insufficient attached gingival in the area. The tooth roots are exposed and treated with different types of preparations, such as citric acid, to increase tissue attachment. A connective tissue graft is placed over the root areas. The gums are then moved higher up on the tooth and sutured into place, covering the root areas. A protective packing may then be placed. The attached gingival tissues heal and cover the area and roots. Connective tissue is harvested from the palate. It is the piece of tissue taken from the inner layer between the outside tissue and the palatal bone. Once removed, the incision line is closed with sutures and the area heals. Teeth may experience recession where the roots become exposed. This movie demonstrates a situation where some teeth have also lost their tough gum tissue or attached gingival. Attached gingival holds the gums firmly to the teeth and prevents calculus or tartar building up between gums and teeth. To treat this condition, the flap is reflected from the teeth. A prefabricated human graft tissue can be placed into the area. The graft is adjusted to fit and sutured into place. The flap is then repositioned back on top, covering the graft completely and sutured into place. With time, the graft will promote the growth of new tough gum tissue or attached gingival over the lost areas to the desired levels. Here we see that the results we can expect from surgical correction of recession are dependent on the level of the adjacent bone. The exposed root area is outlined in white dashes. If interproximal bone height is normal, we can get ideal results. The lower the level, the less ideal these results are. When there is recession of the gums, the roots of the teeth are exposed. The roots are not as hard as the crown enamel. Improper brushing techniques, such as brushing side to side with a hard toothbrush, can cause abrasion of the tooth root. The toothbrush acts like a saw, especially if it is a hard toothbrush. These areas may become severe and cause more recession and severe tooth sensitivity.